Hi, my name is Thomas Whitfield, and I'm a mental health provider. I'm originally from New York City, but currently living in Pennsylvania, finishing up my doctorate in psychology. Uh, my background is in health psychology. So what that means is that when I look at someone's health, I consider it to be part biological, part psychological, and part social. So it's a biopsychosocial theory. So when I speak with patients, I don't just talk about what's going on with them mentally, but also how they're treating their body, how they're socializing with other people, and how these things all interact. And and I think that this is going to be a big part of how we all get through the quarantine that's going on across the country or in different parts of the country. Right now with COVID-19, you know, people are afraid and don't know what to do. Personally, I'm like, okay, do I panic? Do I not panic? Is everything fine? Should I be more upset? And I think a lot of people feel the same way. Um, I've been spending the last almost week in my apartment. Um, and it is sort of a self-quarantine, trying to be safe, uh, keep other people healthy. I don't believe that I'm sick. Um, and, you know, we don't know how long this is really going to be going on for. In Pennsylvania, it was just announced that only um, essential life-providing places can be open. So things like grocery stores, hospitals. Um, and I think that it is probably you know, going to get a little bit more like that across the country as more cases come out. So while we're quarantined, it's important to think about how we take care of ourselves. And, you know, I think for a lot of people, it's going to kind of feel like a vacation for a couple days. Um, but long term, if we are talking about this lasting a few weeks or a few months or a year and a half, you know, that could change. It's no longer going to feel like a vacation. So I really wanna to talk to you guys about how you can treat yourself well, biologically, psychologically, and socially, so that you can keep your health at its peak during this time because it's probably not gonna be easy. So first, let's think about biologically, what do you need to do to stay healthy? So a lot of times, if you're just stuck at home, you might be someone that goes back and forth and picks on different food, um, eats a lot of food that you generally would not eat. It's gonna be important over this period of time that you kind of try to stick to a at least high vitamin, high nutrition diet, high protein diet. Um, you don't want to just slip into eating junk food all day long because you are going to feel like crap. And if your body feels like crap, your mind is also going to feel like crap and you're not going to feel like interacting with other people even if it's just via technology. Um, so definitely watch what it is that you're eating. Also, what you're drinking. Uh, I've seen a lot of posts on the internet about people just buying tons of alcohol to get hammered all the time. That's gonna get real old real quick. Also, alcohol is a depressant. So if you drink a lot of alcohol, that's also going to bring your mood down. So remember to take your vitamins, definitely take your medications, any medications that you're on, continue to take them and try to get exercise. Exercise if you can. I ordered like $50 worth of home gym equipment off Amazon. Um, so I ordered some resistance bands, uh, like an ab wheel, a jump rope. So stuff like that, that I can do either inside or just in my backyard to stay active. If you do not stay active, you will also get more depressed, have less energy, feel like crap. So those are some big things to think about biologically. Psychologically, uh, you know, you need to challenge your negative thoughts. So you need to ask yourself if you are being honest with yourself, if you are being realistic with yourself, you need to try to stop yourself from catastrophizing or thinking that only the worst things are going to happen. Um, I would start doing some mindfulness or meditation. If you Google either of those things or on YouTube, look for videos that say mindfulness or meditation, um, you know, you're gonna find a lot of really good stuff that can be really helpful. Um, Headspace is amazing. That's an app for your phone. I use it every day, um, you know, and they have meditations that last from two minutes to an hour. So you can really build up your ability to do this, but that's going to allow you to stay centered and at peace so that you do not go crazy in your house, um, especially if you are by yourself. Uh, get up and get dressed in the morning. When you wake up, have a have a wake time, have a bedtime, have a set schedule for yourself, even if you don't have anywhere to be. It's gonna be really important that you keep yourself on a schedule. Have a to-do list, have things that you check off every day. Make sure you're doing them. Make sure that you're showering, even if you're not going anywhere. 
um, you know, you can also add your healthy food, your vitamins, your, um, your medications, all of that to a to-do list. I think that that will be very helpful in at least helping you feel like you are accomplishing things and continuing to do things. Um, again, this might sound drastic for now, but if this goes on for a year and a half, like some people have, have suggested that it might, it's going to be really important that you do some of this stuff. And socially. How do we stay social in a time where we are supposed to stay six feet away from everyone else? The internet is going to be our friend. So I know that uh, Chrome just put out some sort of an extension with Netflix so that you can watch Netflix with your friends. So I think that that's really great and you can sync it up. So it's all pausing and playing at the same time. FaceTime with your loved ones, with your um, family, your friends. Uh, definitely maybe download some games onto your phone. So there are a lot of board games that you can play via the internet with other people. Um, you can also engage in therapy. The hospital that I work at is now going to virtual care, so we will actually be doing webcam therapy. Uh, so definitely do not just let your mental health go to the wayside while all of this is going on. And if you need therapy, you can still get it. So yeah, these are some of the things. Take a moment and think about how are you going to treat yourself biologically, psychologically, and socially for the next period of time, and what is going to benefit you most? How do you need to take care of yourself? Because this is going to be fun for a little bit, and then it's going to not be so much fun. And you don't want to find your health getting worse, whether you have COVID-19 or do not have COVID-19. And it could, because we might be quarantined for a while. And this is not to scare you, but more so just think about how you can treat yourself the best in these situations.